up, guys? Ethan from OK Adventure here. So I get this question a lot about my old bee bucket. So what do I do if the swarm lands on the bottom of the bucket and and they're built comb there? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Let's get right to it. All right, so right now we got this swarm, very docile, but they, this is a lower entrance hole and they decided to build on my wax on the bottom. If you wanna come in a little closer, Lee, these guys are pretty friendly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what we do in this situation. You can see there, they've been here for a while. I've actually come and checked this one a while back. There's brood there, there's everything. So what we need to do first, we need to take a visual outside look and make sure we don't see the queen. And if we do see the queen, we're gonna snatch her up real quick and then we can get right down to doing some dirty business. So let's see here. Good friendly bees. I like them. Let me pet them and everything. Wow, look at that. This is all hatched out right here and they're building this new this new uh, comb. See that Lee? I see it off the bucket, yeah. I don't see her over here. I don't see her here. Actually got some honey stored in here too. A lot of brood in here. So this this has been here for almost a month. There's a whole bunch of brood in this middle section. Maybe where she's at. Alright, no queen over there, Dave? I've not seen a bigger one. Alright, so we got some honey stored in here. Have you ever what? petted bees before? What? I mean, no, I've been stung by them. You seen her big booty? Oh no, he got my way. I thought I seen a big one, but I don't know. Okay, so they're pretty calm. Uh, I'm gonna get the cork and everything ready just in case we do find her. Uh, that way I can snatch her up. Hopefully she's one of those pretty uh, tiger strap ones. All right. So here's what we're gonna do first. So step one, what you wanna do is get you a 10 frame box. Uh, I make my own bottoms here. Uh, and go ahead and actually step one, get your bottom, screw your bottom to your 10 frame box. Go ahead and put you some screen, staple the screen down over your entrances. Now the bees can't get out of this. And what I like to do, which I don't think we'll need all this, but I always bring extra empty frames. Probably only need one. And then we're gonna need some rubber bands. Luckily I have a whole bunch of rubber bands. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is get you a knife. We're gonna basically do a cutout on this. It's not really cutting out anything, we're just cutting it off. You just come in here, and look for the queen, it'd be real easy. And we'll just cut these wax off of this. Yeah, get up there, bro. Rohini, okay. We'll see if there's a queen underneath this. 
Probably not. I think she's going to be in the middle. I don't see her. Okay. Again, we'll do the next layer. Nice and easy. Get all that honey. Beautiful. Hey, anybody see her on that? It's really soft. Nope, I don't see her. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we rubber band that into here. Might be able to put all this on one frame. I guess when we were kids, I don't know, man, they must have hated us for something because <laughs> <laughs> this don't seem natural. Does it? No, you know what I mean? Like, used to, we running from these things. Now they just chilling. Yep. Big chilling. Oh, by the way, Lee's on the other side of this camera. Uh, Hi, how are y'all doing today? He was fishing with me, and uh, this was down here around where he lives. So. Yeah, these are pretty calmly. Uh, they really are. Especially if they're the good kind of bees. I kind of just wear the suit to, uh, as extra protection, you know, because they like get on your face like, right. like I did. But for the most part, the bees are they're pretty docile. I've only really got into one Africanized hive, and it was just miserable. Oh, I bet. Bet you she's on the other end of this one. So do they, so they're just uh, building it on the bottom of the bucket? Yeah. They didn't want to move in, and they just wanted to... Enjoy the weather. Yeah, I guess that's what you could say. Enjoy the weather. Has the wax sprung into it? Uh, well, my swarm will smell, my swarm lure, yeah. and yes, the beeswax. It helps. Helps bring the bees in. I think that was about ready. There she is. Uh, there she she is. found her. Here. Pull my 
my glove off? You want to pull it off? Yeah. I don't want to get her sticky. She'll die. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. You, where did I do with that, uh, that Smoker. Uh, cage? Pop the cork out of it. Easy peasy. There she is. Now what we're going to do is get some bees in there just to hang out with her. Don't go in there. Hey. Quit. Quit it. Boy, he jerked that hand fast, didn't he? Look how tiny these bees are. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to this. My bees are huge. This is natural cell, and my bees. I think these are actually uh, like native. No. no. So, so bees are not native to America. Oh. Anyways, not not these. These are European bees. Mm -hmm. uh, now they are naturalized, so they've been here for hundreds of years. I don't remember the actual date. Right on the tip. That's always the hurdy hurdy ones. Oh. Um, I couldn't tell you the exact date bees came here. Um, I'll just on. be lying to you. Right. Ooh, right on the end of the fingers. Got to be the worst place to get stung. There you go. Now we can just jam along now. Hmm. Oh, you just leave the rest here? No. Oh. No, he just, he, he was taking it slow because he was trying to find the queen. I didn't want to squish her or drop her in the grass. Yes. Yeah, take it slow, find the queen, put her in a cage, and then from there on out, you know, if you smash a couple bees or something, it's it's not the end of the world. Which one's the queen? Uh, she's in there, she's got the big booty. She's big and fat, too. She got the big jabooty? Yeah. All right, then, then all we're going to do is just finish this up. Uh, she can just hang out over here. The bees are in there, they'll keep it warm. Oh, yeah. See I take the rest of them? Yeah, we'll just keep taking it off and kind of mm -hmm. putting it in here. Little by little. The tricky thing is the comb, the comb is always really, really, really soft. Because these are new, so you have to just be really gentle. Stuff's going to get crushed, it's fine. Okay, back to this. Stick around. Uh, most of them are going to come back up here because this is where the oh. comb is, where the hive was. Well, I mean, well, what we'll do is we'll scoop them all up and throw them in here. Yeah, I just need the general. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. long as she's down there. Uh, for the most part, yeah. yeah. There's some honey. You want to try some honey? Mm. I don't know, I would, but. You want me to cut it off for you, dude? Sure. Here. See what it is? Tell me what flavor. There you go. Nice clear fit. See the whole damn thing? Yeah. Be inside a stool. Mm. Was it? No, I was just saying that'd suck. Uh, what it tastes like, Dave? Sweet. <laughs> you don't know what flavor it was? I can't really tell. I'm gonna have to get you a bite of it. Oh, I think it tastes. <clears throat> Kind of like that sweet clover or something. Is it clover? I think so. That's what I thought. All the sweet clover. Let's see. Seriously? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, there's a bunch of sweet clover all up and down the road. Yep. That's what I was seeing. A bunch of that white sweet clover, not the yellow. Yeah.
doing that for? Just keep the cones in there? Uh, so yeah, just to give these bees a head start. So, so what I'm doing is just removing the comb from there, putting it in here, right. uh, then the bees uh, start gathering back on this mm. and hanging out on it. And, uh, you know, I'll leave them in this box. We'll get to that. Anyways, let's finish yeah. what we're doing. Uh, I think there's one and maybe a little a partial tiny one they're working on over here maybe. No, just this one's left. Now, are you going to try to get all those that are left and throw yeah. them in there? Yeah, so I'll scoop those bees up and I'll throw them in here. Right. Okay. Well, for the most part, that's it. That's all we're going to do. On the comb section. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, I was gonna move a rubber band, but don't need to now. Kind of just smish them in there. They'll come in here, they'll redraw all the comb and get it all back pretty light. You have to leave it there for a minute. Or, or, I mean. uh, and then what we'll do is we will take the rubber band. Uh, I really need a rubber bander in here. We can put her in here with them. Pretty cool catch bees out of the box. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yep. my opinion, it's the only bees anybody should keep. Yeah. They're just better survivors overall. So we didn't even so need the smoker, huh? No, sometimes you don't. What? Huh. What is that little one? Uh, that's one that just emerged. Oh. So he can't fly really good yet. I see. Oh, there went your comb. It's okay. They'll, they'll create more. So right. what, what's stalling them right now is the amount of food and pollen they need to, to expand this. Uh, we'll give them everything they need on the, at the he's house. Okay, so here we go. We got all these guys and all we're gonna do is stash them in there next to that. And then what we're going to do is we're get the rest of these bees. We'll just come over here and we just scrape them off. We've got... Yep. Then we come over here. Kind of just toss them in here. The bad thing is, is they'll probably build on the bottom like these guys did since they're, it's already here. So what, they feel that design and feel like it's a honeycomb and they stick to it, kind of? This? Yeah. No, little... this is just my tray. Is that why they designed it that way, though? Oh, no, they designed this this oh. way so it's easy for the bees to draw. For them to the... build it out. Right. <clears throat> the bees make it like that anyway, right? Yes. So, so this shape right here... It's the same shape as a honeycomb right here. 
And this yeah. has a little bit of wax on it. You can just kind of see it flaking there. And the bees just touch this, and they just start drawing out the, the comb shape. Okay. And this, uh, they'll just draw this directly out on top of this plastic. The plastic is called plastic foundation. The reason I use this and not use these open ones like this and let them make it their self is because these blow out. As you can see, this one had, and it blew out inside the extractor. So I like using the plastic. They don't blow apart. Oh, you said, oh, you put them inside your gear. Yeah, my extractor, and they yeah, blow, get, these, these other ones blow the apart. Yeah. So that is that. This box must be too big because this, this is falling off. Special boxes. And they'll find their queen and all their brood, and they'll go back over there. And they'll sit in this box for a while. Um, these guys will just have to. Uh, they would build this huge giant comb here and most likely they would create some queen cells and swarm off. That would stay here with uh, the new queen and that this queen would fly away and make a new hive. So it's all, all I'm doing is simulating a cavity for the bees to move into. So somewhere out here in the woods, yeah, somewhere out in the woods, Probably within a mile, mile and a half, maybe even further, but I'm assuming probably just right here in the trees. Oh, is a cavity in a tree, yeah. and there's bees living in it. Yeah. And so all I did was simulate this now, and the, the bees will come here every year. We'll catch a swarm here every single year. That's awesome. Cool. So every year there will be bees moving in this. This, you know, this is a queen. Well, it appears it looks like a virgin, how small she is. Uh, or was a virgin when she swarmed. So there's probably, I'd probably put two traps here and catch two swarms every year. Yeah, we put another bugger. Huh? Another bugger? Yeah, as soon as I start catching swarms in a place, I like to put up another trap within mm -hmm. you know, 100 yards or so, and we'll start catching two or three bees in this area. Okay. Yeah, and start doubling it up on them. But that's probably it. These bees will probably just have to get left here. No. So, But they'll go ahead and do what they do? Uh, they'll just perish and die. Yeah, they'll, they'll keep trying to survive, but there's nothing they can do. Oh, that's what I was asking. What? What are you asking? What, the, no. what are these guys going to do? No, the ones that are left, they just they, left. They're just going to keep acting like there's a hive there, and then they just roll over dead one day. Oh, okay. You know, get, they get old and die. There's not much I can do. I got everything I need here. I got brood, I got bees, and I'll put this queen on top of another yeah, hive. Yeah. You want that lid? Huh? Uh, yeah, just a second. Okay, so, now we've done that. We've done the cutout. We got the frames in here. We got the queen captured. We got the ball of bees. It's not a huge swarm. Not a huge hive anyways. But we got what I need. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get home, I'm going to fill this up with sugar water, throw a pollen patty on here because there's not a lot of bees. I'm going to give them, I don't know, four or five days at the house, release this queen, release this queen first, give them four or five days to start drawing this out, and then I'll put this on top of another hive, which I'll, I'll probably show that in another section if you guys want. But uh, that's it. Easy cut out. Good answer to your question there. Cut out. Cut them off. It's a cut off. Easy cut off.